to one and all present here. I am happy to celebrate Science Month with you all. Standing before you is Lisa Julia Pibacola, a great for people of Great for St. Andrew Bobola A. But before we begin, let me ask your observation about my dress. Yes, my dress is made up of SM grocery bags. As to why I'm wearing this, you will need to find out. The title of my talk today is Protection and Conservation of the Ecosystem. But first, we need to know what an ecosystem is. An ecosystem is a community or group of biotic and abiotic. The word bio and the word biotic comes from a Greek word which means life. Thus, biotic means living organism. This involves plants, human beings, or animals, and bacteria of the ecosystem. On the other hand, the letter A in the word abiotic means without, and bio means life. Thus, abiotic means non-living organism. This includes water, land, the temperature, the sunlight, and the air. And the branch of science that deals with the study of organisms and how they interact with the environment around them is called ecology. Question, will the biotic components survive without the abiotic components? The answer is no, because both should be united. They should work together in order to achieve ecological balance and to maintain or sustain life. But what happened to our ecosystem right now? It has been destroyed due to many causes. First, natural causes like flood, severe storms, earthquake, drought, and volcanic eruptions. Another is man-made causes like illegal cutting of trees or deforestation, illegal mining, illegal burning of trees, dynamite fishing, overpollution, climate change, and habitat destruction. And they know that when a natural or a human-caused disturbance disrupts the natural balance of the ecosystem, ecological imbalance takes place. We don't want this to happen. We don't want our future generation to suffer. Therefore, we need to protect and conserve our ecosystem. Why do we need to protect and conserve our ecosystem? Yes, healthy ecosystems provide us clean water, purify our air, maintain soil, regulate climate, recycle nutrients, and provide us with food. And now, how to protect and conserve our ecosystems? Protecting and conserving our ecosystems starts with you. Bite more, drive less to avoid overpollution. Reduce, reuse, and recycle to conserve natural resources and landfill spaces. Plant trees. Trees provide food and oxygen. They help us save energy. They clean the air. They help us combat climate change. Educate. When you value education, you can share your knowledge on protecting and conserving the ecosystem. Volunteer for cleanups in your community. You can also get involved in protecting your watershed too. The less water you use, the less runoff and wastewater that will eventually end up in the ocean. Shop wisely. Buy less plastic and bring a reusable shopping bag. Flip the light, switch off when you leave the room. Start composting. Composting organic matter reduces landfill wastes and creates healthy soil to feed your garden. Stop dynamite fishing. Use nets with big holes instead to protect our marine resources. Wake up everyone. Be alert and cognizant. Make a stand. Be a part. Do a concrete action to protect and conserve the ecosystem. To maintain and sustain a beautiful and happy life. Because I have already done my part. I have recycled as an echo bags as my dress. Once again, 